Mm, trying to remember the right mantras to go with each of these pictures on the right. May need to refer to my puja book to get it right. Whoops. Sorry, just getting the puja book off the shelf. Oh. <laughs> Tripping over. A typical production. Sorry, Padmas Hamava. More respect. Let us find the invocations. This is not a love song. Or it is as well. Um, I was encouraged to do more puja by my teacher Surata and to do it with others. So maybe this almost counts as doing it with you. O Mahong Jetson Guru Padma Siddhi Hong Or even this one. O Mahong Vajra Guru Padma Siddhi Hong O Mahong Vajra Guru Padma Siddhi Hong O Mahong Vajra Guru Padma Siddhi Hong my dad asked me if this one was the devil, because I sent him a postcard from Padmaloka of Padmasambhava. No, not the devil. The magician who chased out the demons from Tibet. So the history, mythic history goes. Purity is here in Vajrasattva. Now I guess I'm a little bit proud. I better give that up. Um, of knowing... The 108 syllable or a version mantra for Vajrasattva. So, without doing all this, all the um, thingamajiggies, I'm just gonna. This is a tripod. Some would say amazing. Paul's using a tripod at last. Um, no, he does use he does use tripods. Does this Paul sometimes? I'm gonna give you a bit more steadiness of camera with Vajrasattva. I think it's respectful when doing a puja to have some steadiness of camera. But is it respectful to shine a camera at these wonderful Aloka paintings? Wish I could get hold of the book on Aloka, A-L-O-K-A's, paintings of Western Buddhist, Buddhist integration, basically. Anyhow. Not time to do the mandala of the um, five jinnas, which is above here, up there. I've done it before on the, um, and related it to various things like um, the family um, and the six directions. Oh, there's other videos on the channel if you can be bothered, I doubt you can, but you can always ask me where they are and I might point you to the Buddhist stuff. Eventually I'll get this all categorised so you can just put Tree Ratna or Buddhist in the search engine under Toothpaste 007 and find all of the mandalas that I'm working with and take what's useful and leave the rest behind. So you have essential purity and you're represented by Vajrasattva and any time you want to purify yourself it is just as well to say the Vajrasattva mantra which is as follows. Oh, let's shine a light differently. Actually, the Vajrasattva mantra in the wonderful book by David Loy called Being Guru Rinpoche. A most moving book. I might read you some quotes from Being Guru Rinpoche. There's rude words in it. That's what I liked about it. But it says do the Vajrasattva mantra as part of your Avalokiteshvara, not Avalokiteshvara, part of your uh, um, Padmasambhava practice. So, where are we? Mm -hmm. James Lowe, being Guru Rinpoche. I'm going to close the door because I'm going to say a rude word. Hang on. It's a, oh, it's a truth universally acknowledged. Now, it's a general principle that Buddhist teachers should teach only if somebody invites them. Likewise, there is a strong tradition in Tibet that if you want an initiation from a master, you should ask many times. They'll often say, no, 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 for a long, long time. A good example of that is with Milarepa, who for many, many, many years asked Marpa for instruction, and Marpa always told him, to fuck off. Marpa was very rough to Milarepa. It's not sweet, 